think they're doing if i'm not constantly filling my brain with knowledge that's when the naughty thoughts come <laughs> Our new principal, Funderburg, just hired a sub who's different from the others. We're finally going to get our classroom back. Playtime's over, Jerry. It's about to get real up in this hizzy. Approach. Approach. Okay. Guys, don't. Okay. The school finally found a substitute that even you can't break. He's the perfect storm of discipline, intelligence, and toughness. You're forgetting he won substitute of the year. I know all about this guy. I am the sub sinker. I'm your substitute, Mr. Testa. And you should know that I have not fully conquered my rage issues. <laughs> Welcome to our classroom, sir. This is our teacher's textbook. Thank you. What's your name, son? Well, I'm listed on the honor roll as Jerome. <laughs> but today we're supposed to do a recap on chapter six. Open your books to chapter six. Take out a clean sheet. Oh, sweet love of my life, that's... My high school sweetheart, Carol Miller. <laughs> Until she broke my heart one summer. Oh, you mean when Jake Martin, the lifeguard, took her away on his wave rider, leaving you sobbing on the beach in your little ducky inner tube? I vowed to one day win her back. Well, that day is today. Come in, Carol. What? <laughs> she can't see me like this. I, I, I haven't done a sit-up since the 90s. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. <laughs> uh, charge it to Mr. Testa. If only he used his mind for good. <laughs> Geometry class making us take PE in this red group. What else can he do? There's no more subs willing to teach a class with Jerry in it. Incoming! Ah! What is that? I think it's some kind of a ball. What do I do? Throw it back. I don't know how. Oh, don't be such a wuss. I'll do it. Your arm's like a cannon. They're coming over. Just be cool. That castle. Look. Because of me, you guys got stuck in the rec room, and it's not fair that you have to just sit here. Pick any sport you want, and we'll play. I don't like it. What if it's a trick? Don't worry, I got this. Let's do badminton. The gentleman's game. Great. Well, sir.
Jim, this is going to be the greatest ninja marathon ever. I mean, three full days. <laughs> I hear they're going to break their record for the most ninja attacks per hour. We are living in a golden age, Kim. <laughs> Behold, the heart stopper. Three feet of bread, eight different meats, ten pounds of cheese. What are you guys going to eat? <laughs> is literally the happiest moment of my life. Mary! I need your help! Oh, the girlfriend. Hey, Munchkin. I am not happy. I am watching my nephew Booker for the week, and he is a little meanie. He never shows me any affection, and today he got kicked out of nursery school for poking another child. I'm going to say it. I think he's a poker. That is a sad, sad story. Thanks for sharing. I'll see ya. Nope. Hey, you and I are going to spend every moment teaching Booker that to poke is no joke. I, um, uh, uh, yeah, I, I have a better idea. Why, do, why don't you leave Booker with us? Why should she do that, Rudy? So I can watch the marathon. Or I could lock the place up and no one can watch it. Well, watch the boy. You deserve a break. I think like at a spa for three days, not a moment less. And Rudy will pay for everything. <laughs> really? <laughs> Rudy, are you sure you can handle this? <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> I teach kids discipline and respect for a living. Oh, yes. A couple of days with Uncle Rudy and his poking will be a thing of the past. The marathon's starting. <laughs> hey, Rudy. Yeah, yeah. Kiss, kiss. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Now, you listen to me, little man. Uncle Rudy's going to watch his ninja marathon, and you're going to sit there and... <laughs> Listen, Principal Funderburk, I signed up for geometry, and I'm not going back to P.E. I still have a shuttlecock on my person that the nurse says is going to require a specialist. I can't bring back geometry if I can't find a sub to take on Jerry. Well, it's your job to find that person. You're responsible for our education. Oh, that's the problem with students. It's always about education. <laughs> Can't you be like normal boys and just try to get some girlfriend? I'll find someone. <laughs> hey, uh, Rudy, where's Booker? Who? Apple bombs that you. Who? The kid we're supposed to be watching? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. My lovey! My precious, precious lovey! I mean, what is that thing? Rudy, okay, we can't watch the marathon with Booker crying. Okay, give him the stupid toy. Okay. Come on. But be gentle and don't squeeze him that hard, okay? It's the only thing that got me through high school. Kindergarten. Uh, Rudy, you think a ninja marathon is appropriate for Booker? Please, like he's going to pay any attention to the Ninja Marathon. Not when he's got lovey.
Dave Funderburg found a sub for geometry. When are these people going to get it? I don't come to school to learn. <laughs> don't worry. I'll sink him just like I've sunk all the others. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're our new substitute? <laughs> they call me Mr. Krupnik. <laughs> By dividing the coefficient, you can see that we have an acute angle of 73 degrees. Any questions? I have a question. Once you divide the co- How in the heck are you a teacher, Milton? The school constitution states in rule 17-8 that in an emergency situation, a student with a perfect 5.0 GPA may become a temporary substitute teacher until a proper replacement is found. Yeah! Delinquent faces! Wow. You know what I do to subs, right? I know every single one of your moves. You're exploding chalk. <laughs> your electrified filing cabinet. Where'd it go? Looking for this? Sonic bowel mover. That thing vibrates your colon at 3,000 RPM. I'm giving a chapter test tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> and I think you can pass it, Jerry. You do? Absolutely. I believe in you. Wow, well, Milton. You're the first teacher that I actually believes. Uh-oh. Do you need to go to the nurse? No, I need to go to the bathroom. Now get out of my way! What are you doing in the hall during... Oh, no. Run, boy! Run! <laughs>
big trouble. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, class, this test will make up 25% of your grade. I gotta turn the fan on. I feel my pre-test hot flash is coming on. <laughs> Jerry, are you worried? No. I'm ready. You'll have 45 minutes to complete the test. Begin in three, two, one. <laughs> Dude, you've been hit by a giant spitball. <laughs> I'm taking you to the principal's office. Ah! Wait, what? I didn't do anything. This is ow! My ear! All right, guys, we have to do something before Miss Applebaum comes back tomorrow. I tried to calm him down with a piece of banana. The last thing I remember is getting hit in the nose with a flurry of fat little baby legs. Hey, look, we've got to teach this kid that there are consequences to his actions. Jack, you got to fight him. You can't do that. It wouldn't be fair. It'll be fair if I use this bow staff. Jack, let's jump him on three. <laughs> Guys, are you serious? Jack, you're a second-degree black belt, but this is the toughest opponent you've ever faced. Now get up there and beat up that baby! You're right. Well, I'm not going to hurt him, but I'll teach him what it's like when somebody fights back. All right, buddy. You've been a good boy, but you just can't go around... <laughs> Was it at least close? What do you need to hear, champ? Milton, I'd like to present you with this fruit and muffin basket as a token of our appreciation. You did something no one else could do. You got Jerry Martinez expelled. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, Jerry was expelled? But I shouldn't have been. Oh. <laughs> Milton, I didn't shoot the spitball. Okay? I wasn't afraid to take the test because I took your advice and I studied. Yeah, right. You studied for a geometry test? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't do it, but I know who did. Milton, this is roughly where you were standing, right? Mm -hmm. Allow me. Uh, I don't think Milton's quite that fat. <laughs> As you can see, this was no ordinary spitball. This was a super deluxe saliva soaked sphere of death with a circumference of 14.4 centimeters. You know what circumference is? It's the linear distance around the outside of a circular object. I don't even know who you are anymore. A spitball this size wouldn't fit in a straw. It would take a very unique delivery system. Something like, I don't know, say, Albert's clarinet. <laughs> Are you accusing me? I couldn't have shot it at Milton because Randy's enormous head would have been in the way. No offense. <laughs> None taken. My mother says my head's so big because I have a massive amount of brains. <laughs> As I was saying, this was no ordinary spitball and it didn't take an ordinary path. This particular spitball made a 90 degree turn, a right angle if you will, before making impact with its target. Wait a minute. 
Hold on. <laughs> okay, so you expect us all to believe that it turned in midair? That is one magic spitball. <laughs> it's not magic, it's math. You created an external force when you turned on the fan claiming to have a hot flash. I get hot flashes. When that lunch lady doubles up on my tuna and calls me big boy? <laughs> Check this out. Albert is the spitballer. <laughs> it was me. It was me. This has been the worst three days of my life. I missed most of the marathon. I'm going to lose my girlfriend. And my lovey's been torn to shreds. <laughs> but at least I can still hear his comforting words. <laughs> Rudy, he's coming for you. Play dead. First time he has ever kissed me. You are a miracle worker. Wait. Oh, were you crying? Yes. Cause I missed you so much. <laughs> now you should go. Yeah, uh, go spend some quality time with that little angel. <laughs> they grow up so fast. <laughs> Concerning programming that involves fighting, this will be the last time we will ever show the Ninja Marathon. What? They can't mean forever? And we totally mean forever! <laughs> Albert, it was you, but, but, but why? I've never wronged you. That's the problem. You've never wronged anyone. You're always so perfect. Perfect grades, amazing hair, and such a ladies' man. It's not get crazy. It hurts me to say this, Jerry, but your expulsion is canceled. <laughs> it is canceled. Gosh! You're back in. <laughs> Albert, go wait in my office. I'll be there in a minute. There's a brand muffin that's got my name on it. <laughs> Sherry, one thing doesn't add up. If you didn't do it, then why did you yell yes after I was hit? Because I knew the answer to the first question. Pi times radius squared, the area of a circle. <laughs> wow. You told the truth. And I didn't believe you. What kind of a teacher am I? What kind of a friend am I? A great one. 
And you believed in me and got me to study. Nobody's ever done that before. But I got you kicked out of school. It, being a teacher is too much pressure. I just want to be a student again. Even if it means going back to P.E. class. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I cannot go back to wearing shorts. I've got my mom's legs. Hold on. Principal Funderburk, I promise I'm going to retire the sub sinker forever. Well, I guess I can teach geometry for now. Let me grab the attendance folder. Uh, <clears throat> you know, there is nothing more rewarding than... <laughs> I know, right? There's nothing like a good old-fashioned pie fight. So you gave Booker back to your sister, huh? Oh, no. He's here. What? What do you mean he's here? What if he saw this? So he saw a pie fight. What harm can come from that? <laughs> Guys in skirts, monsters in lakes, I see nothing, and the great dreams. Test your strength, your balance, and your endurance. I got a victory prize for you. I'm just going to stay up here and enjoy the view. All while not hitting the ground with your face. We're kilting it on kicking it. Brand new next Monday night at 8, 7 central on Disney XD. I ripped my little skirt off, didn't I?